Okay. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us on It's a Wrap. Um, today we have Mr. Elijah with us and Miss Jenny, who is playing with her playing with her ball right now. Um, let's see, what happened this week? We had on Tuesday was election day, so hopefully everybody was out there voting. Um, Wednesday was our front line, our, our parasite, um, part of our parasite preventative program. It's our flea and tick. We switched from Advantix to over to front line, so that was administered this week. On Thursday, uh, our little Davis was neutered, um, and he was not a happy camper. He also has a little bit of an infection going on one of his toenails that he had, um, he had pulled out, so he uh, is on an antibiotic with that. One of our uh, volunteers had come in and she took him home for a night to uh, make sure that he came out of the anesthesia fine, etc. So he was, um, he was, he was just a little terror boy for her, um, up all night long, just running around and uh, got back here and when she dropped him off and he pretty much just crashed immediately in his kennel. So he is here now. He's in kennel nine. Um, we have Mr. Cole is boarding here until Thursday while his mom and dad are away. So he is um, he's having a bunch of fun over in the laundry building. And on Friday was Veterans Day. So again, thank you for everyone's service, all those veterans out there. Um, today I ran into little Abby. Um, she came in with her handler, Mary, for a quick toenail trimming. So she looks great. She looks, um, coat is very shiny. She's perfect weight. And she went into the laundry building and she saw Cole and she, um, Saw Quinn, he was in there, and Bianca was in there, and so was Alexis. So she, she her tail couldn't have wagged faster. So she was, uh, she was very happy to be here. Um, and that's it. That's all I have. So hopefully we have some questions out there. Uh, we did change the time and days of mail call. Those are going to be Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. with a hard stop at 5 p.m. Um, so um, unfortunately we have um, you know an hour from mail call I think it is plenty of time and um, that is that's just how it's going to be for for quite a while so uh, we have a few dogs out there who are not eating very well for uh, the, the kennel staff um, I don't know what it is. Riker is one of them. Even I couldn't even get him to eat today, and I gave him plenty of wet food. And with his regular food, he just really was more focused on playing and sniffing and, and kissing than it was for feeding. So um, he looks good, though. He's not struggling as far as his weight's concerned, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. And we do have a busy week this week. We have two spays and Bridget is having her eyes, uh, her eye done again, so at the ophthalmologist. Uh, so we have a busy week coming up. What do you have for us? A few questions. Okay. First, did Carleen like Wallace and think he would be a good stud? What do you think? Um, Wallace is a really nice nice boy. He is going to make an awesome service dog. Uh, I would have to really look at Wallace again. Uh, Caroline and I hopefully will get together um, the next nice day because it's kind of raining off and on today and really look at him. Taking two, a stud and a potential breed dog out of the same litter I'm not really keen on. I don't think that that's really necessary. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. Uh, update on your dog. Oh, my dogs are doing great. Bianca comes here every day or she'd eat the house. Um, Gabby is doing very well. She's having her stitches removed on Monday, which is tomorrow. So I'll get those taken out of her. Uh, Colton is just the happy lab that he is. He's looking great though. He's actually uh, back to a very healthy weight for him um, because I'm no longer feeding him like a Great Dane. He is a lab. And um, 
And Watson, uh, other than his happy tale, he is he's such a, a good boy. He's hes a hugger, that's for sure. He's definitely a lover and not a fighter. <laughs> so you get hugs all day long from him. Um, Quinn is doing good being his typical goofball big baby self. Uh, <laughs> That's an understatement, um, but he's doing good. Yeah. He's hanging out with Bianca right now. We'll, we'll have some pictures to throw on Explore to uh, share with you. <laughs> they're, they're funny. The two, they're funny. Just brother and sister. They're, they're a lot of fun. Uh, uh, what's the deadline for the ornament? Um, so I would say Thanksgiving. Um, the day before Thanksgiving is preferred. Um, if we can get those in, I will be reaching out to uh, um, everyone to see who would like to help decorate the tree. Um, so get those in. I'm collecting them both up at the house, and I have a small box of them here down in my office also. So I think we'll have plenty of them. Uh, and I'm just going to look for a team to get together, as we did last year, to go ahead, set up the tree, decorate it, and we will definitely videotape it so everybody can see. Uh, we miss watching the pups in recovery, but now they are in good hands with the volunteers. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, quite a few of the volunteers that take care of them are all nurses. <laughs> so you can't get much better care than that, that's for sure. Uh, how is Chloe doing? Chloe is doing fine. She, um, she does have wobblers. So it is just one of those things that's going to, um, you know, affect her ability to to move um, her gait, etc. Um, there is a good chance that she will be um, adopted by one of the volunteers or staff members here, who will be able. To, she'll be able to live out her life, um, you know, the best that she can. She's she's doing great now. She is young. However, there's a good chance that as she ages. Um, Wobble, her wobbles will progress. Uh, is Evie enjoying her new home? Uh, the last time I talked to her partner Austin, um, they were um, they were almost home. I did. I'm sure that he's still getting acclimated and settled in. So as um, he promised, and he promised that he will get updated pictures of Evie in her new home with him. Um, I have sent out his um, his tags of his um, his his new what do you call it patches for his um, the emotional support dog patches. I didn't have them at the time that the photo was taken, and I I heard you know I do understand that ADA does not support emotional support dogs. I do know that it was just an error. It was an oversight actually when they had the picture taken. But he does have the proper patches out on her and he he's just the, their personality just matches so well she's shy he's very quiet and i think that it's just a perfect match uh, who are the space um tasha and nessie uh will bridget have to wear the cone again <laughs> yes bridget will have to wear the cone of shame However, I am planning on a huge care package for Bridget that will go with her of different activities from lick mats to slow feeders to, um, here, come here, why don't you show everybody your ball? So Jenny's been using this. Um, what it is is a, um, it's about dog training. It's made by Starmark, and I don't remember exactly what the name of it was. But I purchased this on Amazon to see um, how the dogs would do. And what it is, it's a, um, it's an actual, we have puppy kibble in there, so it has treats in there. And as she hits it and rolls it around, the treats, the treats come out. So whenever she needs a treat or just something to play with, she has been very active with this ball since we got it. And Bridgie will also have one of these balls <laughs> to help, help her play. Um, so she will be having all kinds of things to keep her mind going, hopefully off of her eye, off of that cone, and um, I'm really, 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 fingers across, so everybody cross your fingers that she stays calm, and this time the eye surgery will take 
Oh, uh, where will she recover? She is going to be recovering with one of our volunteer, um, volunteer people who have been taking the um, dogs after spays and neuters. Uh, are you still considering possible breeding Watson again? I don't know. Watson still has not passed his OFA um, thyroid test um, screening. He, it is still inconclusive. He's gone through it three times now. They said to wait another three to six months, so I'll wait another six months. Um, George, who was our retired vet, does have uh, records of every single one of his tests. And uh, he has no symptoms of having thyroid. He, his coat is beautiful. He's not lethargic. He is not any of those things that if you have thyroid disease, he would have. So it is still inconclusive, and they just recommend getting it done again. So he's still parked right now. Um, I thought you were going to leave the town on Puppy Hill ongoing feeding. Um, so they're supposed to be putting it on during the PM feedings, and I'm not sure if, uh, I'm not sure why they're not. Um, morning, it's just, it's really crazy with people coming in. I don't think that you'd enjoy um, some of the barking that has been going on. Um, you know, sometimes Carlene has her dogs running loose, and they run over to the fence, and it disturbs the dog that's eating, and then the kennel dogs are barking because they see the other dogs, and it's just a loud bark fest until we can get everybody all quieted down. So um, it's been off in the morning because of that, but we are looking, um, you know, hopefully if they can get feeding before it starts getting even darker. We did fix some floodlights today, so it, you will have a little bit more light. <laughs> um, you're so silly. Uh, so I will definitely remind them again. Uh, please let Sandy know we all miss Opal. Yes, we will. Oh, a refresh. So girl, you're having fun. Are you having fun with that? Get that ball. Get the toy. Get the toy. You go get it. You go get it. Yes, you go get it. Nothing now. Nothing now. All right. Well, I'm going to call it a call it a wrap then. Thank you, Elijah, for helping me out. Thank no. you, Jenny. She's such a good girl. And thank you, everybody, for watching. And that's a wrap. And we will see you all soon.